When Sweden joined NATO, it didn't just shift its politics. It redrew the defense map of Europe. Its once neutral skies now form part of NATO's shield, stretching from the Arctic Circle to the Baltic Sea. And right at the center of this new front line stands a machine born not from brute power, but from precision, independence, and innovation. The JAS-39 Gripen. For decades, Sweden's military strategy was simple. Stay neutral, stay ready. But neutrality is expensive when you live next to Russia. From the Cold War to the drone age, Sweden's airspace has been a silent chessboard with radar blips and unidentified aircraft testing its limits. And now those intrusions have evolved. Drones, electronic jamming, and stealth reconnaissance have replaced Cold War dogfights. This is the new battlefield. And the Gripen, Sweden's lightweight, intelligent fighter, has quietly become one of the most adaptable war machines on the planet. In the late 1970s, as tensions between NATO and the Warsaw Pact reached a dangerous pitch, Sweden found itself in an impossible position. It was neither east nor west, yet surrounded by both. Its survival depended on its ability to outthink, not outgun, its rivals. And so, Swedish engineers asked a radical question. What if a fighter jet could think too? That question gave birth to Saab's Gripen project, a national effort to build a fighter that could do everything, intercept, strike, and defend, while costing a fraction of its American or Soviet counterparts. By 1996, the JS-39 Gripen entered service, a delta-winged, canard-equipped, fly-by-wire aircraft that looked small but flew like a dream. It wasn't designed to dominate through sheer firepower. It was designed to survive, to launch from rural roads, to refuel fast, and to strike back before an enemy could even find it. Sweden's philosophy was clear. If war ever came, every forest road could become a runway. For Saab, this was more than an aircraft. It was a declaration of independence. Sweden had watched for years as global powers bought security through alliances and nuclear deterrence. It wanted something different, a defense system that didn't depend on anyone else. Every part of the Gripen reflected that philosophy. Its radar systems were modular, its avionics were upgradable, and its engine, the Volvo RM12, was designed for minimal maintenance. Technicians could swap out entire modules in the field in hours, not days. And like a smartphone updating its firmware, the Grapen could receive software upgrades that instantly enhanced its combat systems. By the early 2000s, the aircraft had become a symbol of Sweden's identity. Smart, adaptable, and fiercely independent. Even larger nations began to notice. Hungary, the Czech Republic, South Africa, Brazil, countries that couldn't afford massive fleets of F-16s or Eurofighters, turned to the Gripen as a practical alternative. It was smaller, cheaper, and in many ways, more flexible. Saab had quietly built the world's first plug-and-play fighter jet. Fast forward to the 2020s. The Cold War is long over, but the shadows remain. Russian bombers patrol near Swedish borders, transponders off. Unidentified drones hover over power plants and naval bases. And as the war in Ukraine shifts Europe's defense priorities, Sweden's neutrality has ended. Now a NATO member, Sweden's skies are no longer just Swedish. They're part of a collective defense line stretching across the continent. And the Grapen is no longer defending just Sweden. It's guarding Europe. But new challenges require new evolution. Fighter pilots today face enemies they can't see, radar signals that lie, and missiles guided by algorithms. The question isn't just about speed anymore, it's about thinking faster than the enemy. In 2025, Saab made history. For the first time ever, a Gripen E took off with artificial intelligence in the cockpit. The system, named Centaur, was developed with German AI defense company Helsing, and it did something extraordinary. It flew autonomously, not as a drone, but as a thinking partner to a human pilot. During test flights, 
the Centaur-controlled Gripen engaged in simulated air-to-air -air combat against a manned aircraft. Using data from its radar, infrared sensors, and onboard systems, the AI analyzed threats, chose flight maneuvers, and even issued firing signals, all in real time. In one test, it performed what Saab called 50 pilot years of experience in just a few hours of simulated combat. The Swedish engineers weren't trying to replace the pilot. They were building something deeper, a hybrid brain, where human intuition meets machine precision. Together, they could outfly, outthink, and outlast almost anything in the air. The Gripen's newest generation, the JAS-39E, represents everything Saab learned over 40 years of engineering evolution. It carries 30% more fuel, a more powerful General Electric F414G engine, and an advanced Raven ES-05 ASA radar that can track multiple targets at once, even stealth aircraft. It's also equipped with the Skyward G infrared system, capable of passively detecting heat signatures from enemy aircraft or missiles, something even stealth tech can't fully hide. Its arsenal includes the long-range Meteor air-to-air -air missile, short-range Iris-T, and precision-guided GBU-49 bombs, along with the trusted 27 millilio Mauser cannon. Every weapon, every system is fully networked. If one Gripen sees a target, every Gripen in the fleet can see it too. This sensor fusion gives the Swedish Air Force a shared digital brain across the sky, an invisible web of awareness connecting machines, pilots, and data in real time. It's like turning the entire air fleet into one single intelligent organism. But technology alone doesn't guarantee survival. Sweden knows that. That's why, even today, its defense strategy still follows the BAS-90 system, a Cold War concept built around resilience. Instead of concentrating aircraft at major air bases, Sweden disperses them across hundreds of short, hidden runways. Every stretch of highway could become a launch site. Fuel trucks and mobile hangars can set up in minutes. If an attack ever comes, Sweden's air force won't be caught on the ground. It will already be in the air, ready to strike back. And with AI now helping manage logistics, Threat assessment. Flight without using afterburners. That the Gripen E's aerodynamic design. Excellent forms. maneuverability at both at high Psalms and low speeds. The air use of lightweight composite materials. This helps to reduce machine, weight and improve this requirement has always entity, been the ability to the operate from dispersed locations, switches. even public roads. It's a digital the Gripen E retains this stall in capability. Instance. This makes it Every operationally flexible and less reliant on the base. A critical sensor for any modern fighter is its radar. Five, a contender among giants. Ripen E versus the Compass. The Centaur AI, that interface can anticipate what's coming. Next. Intelligence. It can analyze this versatility is crucial in sensors reacts. with relative ease. This contrasts with older air technology away, without excessive complexity or cost. Centric operations. Its success may influence in future. Milliseconds. In essence, the abilities. Has stopped they needed being better sensors, more powerful jet. engines, and enhanced electronic warfare systems. A partner in battle that learns, adapts, and grows Advanced smarter gripping. every flight. The rest of the world is taking notice. And carefully Brazil's to these Air demands, Force, one of the they Gripen's saw an option to take the proof. They aimed to elevate it to a whole new level of performance and sophistication. Other the development of the grip and key was a careful step-by-step -step process. Sweden key milestone. just unlocked a glimpse into the future of air combat. For the first time, One of the Gripen E's most impressive aspects is its advanced avionics suite. The cockpit is dominated One by a wide United area display, WAD. This large panoramic Sweden is proving that innovation and agility touchscreen provides the pilot with a comprehensive budgets. view of the tactical the situation. Information from various upgrades, sensors is fused together. Sensors, this gives the pilot unparalleled situational awareness. This network-centric capability. The jet. It's not just a fighter. It allows the Gripen E to share data seamlessly. It can communicate with other aircraft and ground stations. This makes the pilot a crucial node in a wider information network. The Gripen E boat, the ability to dominate the electromagnetic spectrum, at the heart of the Gripen E's impressive performance hard configuration. This design provides excellent maneuvering. They insist that human Populated by some very capable aircraft, leading flight weight composite materials. 
This helps to reduce weight and improve. Advanced, that line may blur. Still, Sweden's performance remains consistent. A key Swedish requirement has always been responsibility. Where other nations see machines as weapons, and even public roads, the Gripen E retains this stole. This makes it operationally Tools flexible and less reliant on. Not provoke. By 2031, Sweden plans to Section unveil its next generation air combat platform. A direct successor to the giants, Gripen E. From among giants, Gripen E versus the competition exactly can dominate the headlines. Some then came Sweden's so This emerged as an unexpected force. It challenged the established order with quiet combat. It was a This can can showed that smaller world class. Initially, some observers were skeptical. Could a nation like Sweden truly compete? The Gripen E answered with a resounding yes. It quickly proved its doubters wrong. The landscape of aerial warfare is constantly changing. New technologies are needed. The Gripen E was designed for this modern era. It was built to be adaptable and smart. Its performance and advanced systems began to turn heads. Experts realized this was no ordinary fighter jet. Not just as a jet, but as a message. Sweden may be The Gripen E did not appear out of thin air. It is the latest evolution of a successful family of aircraft. Saab, its manufacturer, has a long and proud history. They have been building innovative aircraft for decades. The original Gripen, designated JS Flu in 1988, it was designed to be a versatile multi-role fighter. It needed to defend Sweden's unique territory. Her philosophy of efficiency and resilience was baked into the Gripen DNA from the very start. The decision to develop the Gripen E, they needed better sensors, more powerful engines, and enhanced electronic warfare systems. Advanced Gripen. Saab listened carefully to these demands. They saw an opportunity to take the proven...